The roar and cheers could be heard outside Weiss Hospital in Uptown as the U.S. Navy's Blue Angel soared across the sky. Workers stood in windows on the rooftop and the sidewalk below. The spectacular salute in honor of the doctors, nurses, firefighters, paramedics, police officers, everyone battling the coronavirus pandemic on the front lines. If you didn't see it, you likely heard it. CBS 2's Marissa Parra was at Rush University Medical Center. Marissa, it was certainly an emotional experience. You know, Brad and Erica, those jets were probably visible from here for probably a sum total of less than a minute, but that is all that it took to bring hospital staff to tears. <laughs> one by one, as the Blue Angels ready to take to the skies, right. nurses and doctors readied on the roof. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> it's very nice. For an air show with no ordinary audience. This is their chance to escape. I'm proud to be a Rush nurse. Woo! For them, COVID-19 statistics aren't just numbers, they're patients. We're seeing people lose loved ones. And for 68 long days, they've been battling a monster beyond those walls inside. But for just a moment, they got a chance to be present outside and feel. Oh my God, it was just like awesome. Even a mask can't hide the exhaustion in their eyes and voices. On these floors, how like, how it's hard, you know, especially when you work in the ICU, you're constantly in a room, you're constantly behind a mask. That emotion catching nurses by surprise who are used to staying strong for their patients. A lot of emotions. It really allowed us to feel kind of what we've been holding in, I think. But this was their chance to let it all out. We're going to win this. Before getting back in the longest marathon of their lives. I think it's like, we got this. We really do. We got it. Something else that was pretty remarkable but easy to miss was as those jets were flying above and we were watching the faces of the doctors and nurses out here were some of the faces pressed up up against the windows in the building behind me, particularly on the 11th floor, which the media spokesperson does confirm for me is part of the ICU unit, which is majority COVID-19 patients. So, you know, this flyover and this display of America Strong is for them too. Brad and Erica. Quite a story. And Rush, one of the remarkable medical institutions in greater Chicago. Do you have any idea, Marissa, the number, how many COVID-19 patients have been treated at Rush? Brad, actually, Rush University Medical Center just got back to me with some more detailed statistics on that. They say since this began, they have seen and treated hundreds and released as well COVID-19 patients, again, in the hundreds. And an interesting little factoid is within all of Chicago and the diagnosis that has happened, one-fifth of all of the cases have been diagnosed right here at the medical center, starting with Rush University's very first confirmed case of COVID-19 on March 5th, six. 68 long days ago. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Marissa.